Who says you have to have a lot of room to be able to grow lots of herbs? You know, sometimes when you think about herbs and growing herbs, you think about this idea of, well, you gotta have an herb garden, a whole space dedicated to growing herbs. Well, that's really not the case at all. So many herbs do so well in containers, for instance, here. And I have them integrated here on these steps that go into the house, so they're very convenient to the kitchen. And when I say integrated, I have other things growing around them. So the herbs are just not these plants of utility. They're actually integrated into the design of this entryway into the house. This happens to be a wonderful basil that grows very tall and columnar-like. So the vertical accents here at this entryway, well, they're just gonna enhance it even more. And I'll be able to harvest basil off of this throughout the entire growing season. Now, if you wanna grow basil or most other herbs, you're gonna to have to have full sun or at least half day sun. And you wanna make sure that the soil drains well and that your soil stays consistently moist. You don't want them to sit in standing water. And I always like to use a saucer underneath my containers that really helps with the watering. It cuts it in half for me. I also like to keep the tags and I slide them down just along the side of the container like that so I can remember what varieties I have planted in what containers. Because I use herbs in containers all around the garden. Let me show you another example. Come on over here. So take a look at this display. This is on one side of my tool shed. Rather than just having a blank wall, I took advantage of very limited space. I have a shelf that sticks out about 18 inches here, one that only sticks out about six inches here. But just look at all the herbs that I can grow here in containers. I have all kinds of mints that are cascading down, as well as thyme and chives. And what I've done is I've staggered them at different heights by turning a container upside down. I can set this one up a little higher, so it makes it rather artistic. And get this, all of these were planted from a single container that's this size. This is spicy oregano. Oh, I just wish you could smell the aroma. And it too will cascade down. You can see down there on the far end, one of them is already growing very well. Now the thing to remember with herbs is that the more that you clip them back and use them, the more of these delicious leaves they will produce. If you're enjoying these tips on how to bring beauty and flavor into your life, make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.